Welcome to Workshop Wednesday. I'm Claudia and I will be painting with you today. We are going to be making tape paintings. Supplies you will need include white paint, three or seven other colors of paint, and I am using acrylic paint today. You will need masking tape or blue painter's tape, a couple of brushes such as a sponge brush, and a canvas to paint on. I have a piece of cardboard, but you could use canvas. Also, you're gonna need a tablecloth cover and a palette, such as this cereal box that I've made into a palette. So I'm gonna pour some white paint onto my palette. Now I'm gonna prime my canvas. Priming means that you are going to apply an even layer of white paint and that way you can add your colors on without having the texture of the canvas come through. It's just going to be a, a nice even foundation for your painting. Here I am just getting those corners. When I'm all done I am going to set it to dry. Now that my canvas is dry it is ready for the tape to be applied and I'm applying tape to the areas where I don't want the colored paint to end up. This is just going to cover that canvas so I get some really cool lines. Um, so you can think about whichever way you want to do this. I'm just going to go for it and think about making a symmetrical piece so where um, I have two sides of the canvas that look reflected. Make sure to push down on your tape and that way it's nice and flat on the canvas and you don't get any bleeds from the paint going under the tape. And now I'm ready to paint and here is my color palette. I'm inspired by deserts, so there's a lot of warm tones with this, uh, which are yellows and reds. I'm going to start with my lightest color because it's always easier to cover up a yellow than it is to cover up a black or a brown. And I'm making sure to work in the paint so that it covers the tape. I'm going to leave it to dry and I'm going to clean up my space. I'm going to put over my paints and wash my brushes. Now that it's all dried, it's ready for the tape to be peeled off. So I'm going to slowly peel off the tape pieces one by one. Here, when I pulled off this piece of tape, a bit of the paint came off with it, but that's okay. We're going to be able to cover that up. This is my finished painting. I'm pretty excited about how it turned out. We would love to see your tape paintings, so share your art and tag us at IMAS Museum using the hashtag IMAS Artist. Thank you for joining today. Learn more on our website, theimassonline.org.